Ah, happy sunshine, family. Today is September 25th, 2017, and it's about quarter after 2 p.m. Pacific time. we got about four days left until Randall Bean's birthday, and I wanted to share with you a postcard that I sent to Randy. Now, I found some ASCII birthday images and I picked one and I put that on this side of the postcard next to his address. My thumbs covering up uh, all of my return address information. And let's take a look. Well, actually you'll just keep looking at that image and let's just take a listen at what I wrote to Randy. Dear Randy Bean, happy birthday. You share a birthday really close to my father, Harry. He worked for DARPA and the United States Air Force. I have so many questions about his career in light of what transpired in Houston, Texas with Hurricane Harvey. That was a man-made event. I've been following your journey for the past couple months. I'm not quite sure what to make of it all. I see this unfold through the lens of a retired police officer and a trained business professional. And in parentheses, I put MBA, Penn State, 1997. I worked for National City Bank from 1997 to 1998 as a credit analyst for corp corporate loan approvals. What I have come to find in both of these professions is that I was trained only to operate within a predetermined system. Over the course of my life, I see that my entire developmental years and, quote, education, unquote, were indoctrination. We live in a system with the highest priority given to deceiving the masses in every meaningful facet of life. Deception happens through erroneous definitions given to these important facets of life. Randy, I cannot express in words how broken the system truly is on this date. I've testified in municipal, state, and federal courts. I've been deposed several times. I know what good, clean, accurate testimony sounds like. I've investigated almost every kind of law enforcement case out there. Parker still slash Steele does not feel like a cop. There is also a question as to a possible death certificate on file with Knoxville or the state of Tennessee. I called a woman at Blount County, Tennessee, and to get a hold of the death record, and she claims death records are not public record. Perhaps your elbow counsel can dig that out for you. On paper, Parker is a defense lawyer, prosecuting attorney, FBI agent, identity theft expert, financial crimes investigator, JAG officer for the reserves, and a pro tem municipal judge. The mere observation that he cannot speak in complete sentences is a suspect. Combine that with no investigation or chain of custody for any of the information he provided to the grand jury for the indictment. The woman who should have signed your warrant, according to federal law, the clerk of courts, Deborah Poplin, was named to replace Judge C. Clifford Shirley upon his retirement in February 2018. All suspicious observations to my eyes. I have a YouTube channel named Lunacy. Anyone curious about how a retired cop views the world may want to watch some of my videos. I've made over 100 videos in the past five weeks, many reading and commenting on the various transcripts related to your case. Much love, Randy. Happy birthday. May the grace of God shine on you today and bring peace, freedom, ease, and joy flooding into your every waking now moment. Grace's pace, Danny. So this is my birthday offering, my positive energy and high vibration carried through over the course of several weeks as I ordered special stamps, postcard stamps from Zazzle.com. I ordered some bulk plain white postcards and I went out and I found some ASCII images. And we got a birthday themed ASCII image here to the left of Randy's uh, information, address information. Wow, what a crazy month, what a crazy 
past couple of weeks, we've had the perceptions that the vast majority of us have carried around inside our consciousness about reality, about the world that we live in, the venue in which we live our life, and the entire system that has been structured around our life and everything that we do is nothing like we've been told it is, guys. Absolutely not. I, I have no idea where we're going to end up at the end of today, where, where we're going to be at the end of next week, at the end of next month. There's a lot of crazy things going on with the weather. The Truth Channel was reporting on the north-south flow of weather from Mexico up to what, Minnesota and Canada today. All of this deception that the system puts out, it puts it out there so that your behavior is modified. If you have an inaccurate perception of any facet of your reality, you're not going to make the best decisions that you could possibly make for yourself. And if you can't make the best decisions, then you can't follow through with the best behavioral actions for yourself. And a big part of dependence has to do with this particular facet, facet of consciousness. Now, when we are considering a decision, we haven't decided yet, but wow, we're making observations and we're putting pieces together and we're breaking apart old perceptions that is a process that's called pending. When, when you look in the legal system, pending means, hey, the system is actively deciding on this particular matter. We don't have a decision yet. It's pending. As soon as you make a decision, as soon as you author a perception of reality about any particular facet of your experience, you no longer are pending in that matter. You have removed the pend from that particular facet of life. And to remove anything is often denoted by the prefix DE. So you depend if you make a decision. And what you depend into is a new perception of reality. And if you take this as reality, as a given, as truth, and your behavior sprouts forth from this perception, if your perception is inaccurate, then your behavior and your decisions will be inaccurate. And your spiritual energy is subject to being harvested by the system. The greatest power that I have found is to stay in a mental state of pending. I have broken down just about every perception that I have, and I don't have another one to put back in its place. I started my journey by, ooh, seeing a lie in one facet, and okay, I need something else. I need another image of reality to put in this blank space in my consciousness. I just cannot function for my day-to-day -day life without having certain perceptions in place. And the longer I go on this truth-seeking journey, the less and less solid perceptions about reality I need to feel comfortable to get through the day. And so I am not depending anymore. What I'm doing is I'm bringing the pending back into my life. I'm repending. And once I'm done with that process of repenting everything, then I am repent. And this is what I think is truly meant by the old phrase, 
you, you must repent before you can enter heaven. A lot of damaging, destructive behavior has its roots in false perceptions and deception. And the consciousness that is displaying this behavior may be unconscious of the true relationship that this being has with all the experiences that mosaically overlay and comprise the tapestry of reality. There's power in repentance. There's power in repenting. Break down the deception, but resist the urge to throw anything to fill that space in right away. This is how, or this is the avenue in which speculation, unsupported claims, really take root. Because once somebody has a space in their consciousness and they've been indoctrinated to feel uncomfortable about all the uncertainty in this particular facet of life, they are ripe for just hey, author a new reality for me. Tell me what my new reality is so that I can make it from when I get up in the morning until I go to bed at night. And I fell into that particular scenario myself many times. Okay, that's just a little tidbit about how I think of pending, depending, repending, and repentance. We're going to have some visual aids and look at some of these words and break down some creative etymology and get down to what I think the uh, a core reality may be. All right, if you've got any email for me, please send that to lunacy, L-U-N-A-S-E-E, at protonmail.com. I would love for all of you to let me know in the comment section uh, if you've sent an email, or not an email, a postcard to Randy for his birthday. This is true alchemy, guys. Over the course of a few weeks... I put my vibration and intent into getting some aesthetically pleasing postcard stamps from Zazzle. We've got ASCII images. And I took a few minutes and wrote a quick letter to Randy. And when you follow suit and do the same, and all of these postcards pile up in Randy's experience, the energy, the vibration inside that federal correctional incarceration facility will change in an instant. And this is your invitation to be a part of a monumental exercise in alchemy. All right, I love you guys. Look for more from me soon. Peace out.